In the mythology of Scandinavia, there is a complex system of nine worlds that are all interconnected. These realms are interconnected by the branches of the world tree, which serves as a sort of cosmic axis. The worlds are home to various beings, from gods and goddesses to giants and dwarves, each with their own unique traits and characteristics. Some of these worlds are peaceful and beautiful, while others are dark and dangerous. The relationships between these worlds are intricate, with some being allies and others being sworn enemies. Overall, the structure of the worlds in Scandinavian mythology is a rich and fascinating tapestry, full of adventure and mystery. Midgard, the realm of humans, is a land of great diversity, beauty, and danger. Its landscape is rich and varied, ranging from dense forests and rugged mountains to rolling plains and vast seas. Its people are equally diverse, coming from different cultures and backgrounds, each with their own stories and traditions. Midgard is a place of constant struggle and conflict. The harshness of the environment and the ever-present threat of danger from wild beasts, hostile neighbors, and supernatural beings make life in Midgard a constant battle for survival. Midgard also shares a special connection with Asgard, the realm of the gods. It is connected to Asgard by the Rainbow Bridge Bifrost, which spans the distance between the two worlds. According to legend, the gods often interact with humans in Midgard, taking on mortal forms and appearing as ordinary people to test and aid those they favor. Asgard, the realm of the gods, is a world of wonder and awe. Its beauty is unmatched, with towering spires of gold and silver piercing the clouds, and great halls filled with treasures beyond measure. It is a land of magic and mystery, where the gods dwell and the forces of the universe are made manifest. The most powerful and important figures in Asgard are the Asir, a pantheon of gods who rule over the realm. At the head of the Asir is Odin, the All-Father, a wise and cunning god who wields great power and knowledge. The gods of Asgard are not alone in their realm, however. They are also attended by a host of other beings, including the Valkyries, beautiful and fierce warrior maidens who serve Odin in battle, and the Einvajar, the brave warriors who have died in combat and now dwell in Asgard's great hall, preparing for the final battle of Ragnarok. The realm is constantly threatened by the forces of chaos and destruction, and the gods must remain vigilant to protect their world and maintain the balance of the universe. Helheim, the realm of the dead, is a land shrouded in darkness and mystery. It is a place of final rest for those who have passed from the world of the living, and is ruled by the goddess Hel. The landscape of Helheim is bleak and foreboding, with misty plains stretching out as far as the eye can see. The air is cold and still, and the ground is covered in a layer of frost that never seems to thaw. The souls of the dead wander aimlessly through this barren landscape, seeking some form of comfort or solace in a world that has long forgotten them. Despite its desolation, Helheim is not without its own peculiar beauty. The mist that hangs in the air is tinged with a strange, ethereal light, casting a haunting glow across the land. Ghostly trees and shrubs dot the landscape, their twisted and gnarled forms seeming to shift and change with every passing moment. The inhabitants of Helheim are as varied as they are numerous. The dead come from all walks of life, from kings and merchants to the humblest of peasants. Helheim is surrounded by the impassable Joel River. This river is spanned by a bridge called Jallerbru, which is guarded by the fierce hound Garmer. Alfheim, the home of the light elves, is a realm of wonder and beauty beyond compare. It is a place of eternal spring, where the air is sweet with the scent of flowers and the sun always shines with a warm and gentle light. The landscape of Alfheim is a tapestry of rolling hills, lush forests, and sparkling rivers. The trees are tall and proud, their leaves dancing in the breeze like emerald jewels. Wildflowers carpet the ground in a riot of colors, and everywhere one looks, there is life and vitality. The Light Elves are the guardians of Alfheim, a people of grace and elegance who move through the world with an ethereal beauty. The Light Elves are intimately connected to the land and its rhythms, and their magic is often used to heal and nurture the natural world. It is said that they have the ability to communicate with animals and plants, and that they can hear the voices of the wind and the water. Svartalvaim, the home of the dwarves. It is said to be a dark, cavernous underworld, filled with twisting tunnels and glittering veins of precious metals and gemstones. 
The air is thick with the sound of hammers striking anvils, and the smell of molten metal and freshly mined stone. Despite its eerie and foreboding appearance, Svartalvame is a place of great beauty and ingenuity. The dwarves who dwell there are master craftsmen and skilled miners, renowned throughout the cosmos for their workmanship and expertise. They are said to possess a knowledge of metalworking and stonecraft that is unmatched by any other race in the Nine Worlds. One of the most intriguing aspects of Svartalvame is the mysterious magic that seems to permeate its very fabric. The dwarves are said to be skilled practitioners of rune magic and enchantment, and many of their artifacts are imbued with powerful spells and charms. The ocean that surrounds Midgard is a vast and unfathomable expanse of water, stretching out as far as the eye can see. It is said to be the home of countless sea creatures, both beautiful and terrifying, and its depths hold secrets and mysteries that are yet to be discovered. But perhaps the most intriguing resident of this ocean is the serpent Jormungand. This monstrous creature, also known as the World Serpent, is said to be so large that it encircles the entire world, holding its tail in its mouth. Its scales are said to be as hard as iron, and its eyes burn with a fierce intelligence. Jotunheim, the land of the giants, is a mysterious and foreboding realm. Its towering mountains and icy peaks stretch as far as the eye can see, with dark forests and deep valleys filling the spaces in between. Here, the giants rule, with their immense size and strength making them a formidable force to be reckoned with. Some are towering giants with skin as hard as stone, while others are swift and cunning, able to move like lightning across the rocky terrain. There are even giants who are said to have control over the elements themselves, able to call forth storms and earthquakes at will. The giants of Jotunheim are often at odds with the gods of Asgard. They see themselves as the rightful rulers of the world, and they will stop at nothing to achieve their goals. Many epic battles have been fought between the giants and the gods, each side determined to prove their dominance over the other. Nivelheim, the land of mist, it is a place of eternal cold and darkness, and is said to be located in the northern regions of the cosmos. Nivelheim is a barren and desolate place, covered in ice, snow and mist. One of the most notable features of Nibelheim is the Well of Fergelmer, which is the source of the rivers and streams in the Nine Worlds. The well is guarded by the dragon Nidhogg, who gnaws at the roots of the world tree, Yggdrasil. Muspelheim is the realm of fire and home to the fire giants. It is the southernmost of the Nine Worlds. The realm is characterized by its intense heat and blazing flames, making it impossible for most beings to withstand its intense heat. As one of the primal worlds, Muspelheim is believed to be the first to exist in the universe. Its flame melted the ice of Nivelheim, the world of ice and mist, and created the first living creatures. The fire giants who reside in Muspelheim are often portrayed as fierce and destructive beings. They are the sworn enemies of the gods, and their arrival during Ragnarok, the end of the world, marks the beginning of the final battle. The world of Vanaheim is a lush and fertile land, filled with gardens, forests, and meadows. Its inhabitants, the Vanir, are known for their magical powers, their ability to shape-shift, and their close connection to the natural world. The Vanir are also skilled in the art of magic, prophecy, and are said to possess great knowledge of the runes, the ancient symbols used in Norse magic. The Vanir and the Asur once fought a great war, but eventually called a truce and exchanged hostages as a sign of peace. As a result, some of the Vanir, including Freyr and Freya, now reside in Asgard, while some of the Asir, Mimir and Honir, reside in Vanaheim. From that moment on, they became allies and friends. Utgard is transcendent world. It's a place of mystery and wonder. Unlike the other nine worlds of Norse mythology, Utgard is not a physical place that can be easily accessed, but rather a realm that exists in the mind and spirit. Utgard is a place of illusions and tests of strength, and anyone who enters this realm must be prepared to face trials that will challenge their wits and physical abilities. The giants who inhabit this realm are fierce and dangerous, and they do not take kindly to intruders. It is said that the weather in Utgard is always unpredictable, with sudden storms and gusts of wind that can knock even the strongest warrior off their feet. Despite its dangers, Utgard is a realm of great power and magic. The giants who inhabit this world possess knowledge and secrets that are beyond the understanding of mortal men.